for people with asthma. The coming new year means it's time to make a big change. At the end of 2008, their current asthma inhalers will be banned and replaced with newer ozone-friendly inhalers. But as Allison Starling explains, some sufferers are fighting the change with every breath. Oops. Beth Wilson and her family are all too familiar with the symptoms of asthma. You can't catch your breath. It feels like your throat's closing, your chest is closing, and you start to panic. It kind of makes my chest hurt on me because I'm running and I run out of breath easily. Wilson and both her children use inhalers to help control attacks, but this family is resisting the switch to newer, environmentally friendly HFA asthma inhalers. <sighs> Under an international agreement, the United States is eliminating all ozone-depleting substances. That includes a Wilson family favorite, the outgoing CFC albuterol inhalers. With the new ones, you don't feel anything. The family says the newer inhalers aren't as strong as the older ones and therefore don't control attacks as well. They also cost more and the taste is worse. But the Allergy and Asthma Network says the new HFA albuterol inhalers are actually better for asthma sufferers. The softer plume of medicine should be easier to inhale. A lot of people are struggling with the transition because no one has really explained to them why suddenly their life-saving medication is being swapped out with something new. <coughs> An environmentalist and asthma sufferer, Norris McDonald, says the effect of the inhalers on the ozone is minimal. He signed an online petition asking Congress to reverse the ban. Not one child's life is worth this Montreal Protocol ban on the CFC inhalers. But some asthma support organizations say that time has passed, and the best you can do now is talk to your doctor about the best inhaler for you. In the newsroom, Allison Starling, ABC 7 News.